So we'll start with the Western Digital one because they're the most, they're the easiest to uh, disassemble, as I recall. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. Very easy to disassemble. <laughs> Apparently, I recalled incorrectly. I could have sworn it just had uh, basic screws on it. Here. Let me actually get down and dirty, shall we? Okay. Hmm. I know that internally, these are just SATA drives. under the feet, perhaps. No, just feet. Hmm. Do, 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 do. All right, let's do the, uh, let's do this one. <laughs> because this one is way easier, I guess. One screw at the back. should actually allow us to just pop out the controller or not. All right, we'll take all, all of these screws out too. See, nice, obvious screws. That's what I like to see. So see, the whole idea here is, I know that these are SATA drives inside. They should be SATA 2 drives, if I'm not mistaken. Well, what the hell? Why must you forsake me so? Um, but they only have USB 2 controllers. So I know that turning them into internal drives will give me much better performance. Anything hiding under the feet of these ones? Sometimes, sometimes there are hidden screws, or what have you. Nope, just feet. All right, so that is all the screws that we can remove, apparently. Don't feel anything under there. So. see an opening here. <clears throat> These are basically just enclosures. It's just a matter of figuring out. Aha, I think. They all uh, seal up a little bit differently. Let's get aggressive. I'm getting a flathead screwdriver.
Okay. Wow. Why do they have to, like, build these things like tanks? Seriously. Oh, there's a piece. Yeah, this is going to basically be destroyed by the time we're done here. I'm on. God damn it. it easy to get into these things that's for sure it's not like the enclosures that you can just buy that actually come apart pretty easily here we go There. Holy crap. That was annoying as fuck. Okay. So, now... Ta-da! SATA drive. Done. What do we got here, anyway? This is actually a Hitachi 2TB drive. SATA 2. Holy shit, 7200 RPM SATA 2. There's no way I was getting the kind of performance I could have got out of this USB 2 interface. Now, I can get full performance out of this drive, having it as an internal. Okay, so that is one down. <laughs> Destroyed. So that's basically all an external drive is, is you basically just have this little tiny controller card, which is basically just a mini SATA controller, and that outputs to USB, Firewire, eSATA, whatever interface you happen to have. Some of them have multiple. But that's it. It's just it's just a SATA interface. That's it. That's all it is. Nothing special about it at all. Just a, an enclosure that's impossible to open. Okay, good. So that's one down. And now let's uh, figure out how the heck to get into this one. This one does not seem as obvious. I don't see any screws here, like, at all. Can I, uh, do the same thing, just kind of pry it open? Aha! There we go. Oh yeah, just a matter of getting underneath and uh, popping the clips. There we go. Oh wow, okay, that was way easier. I did actually break one of the clips, but there we go. So again, you can see right here, um, it's actually just a standard SATA interface. So this will take a little bit more disassembly, but that's okay. Once you get the case open, it's usually
pretty easy. Now we can hang on to those screws too, actually, because they might come in useful. Come in useful, come in handy for something. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's basically just held in there with rubber clips or something. go done just a bunch of rubber hubs in there to just to cushion it keep it in place so this is a, um, uh, a th another three terabyte and uh, can I take there we go done and that's the controller card there and this one goes actually out to a mini USB you may have noticed the other one was uh, kind of like the printer style USB so you got the mini USB and printer style USB. One thing also to bear in mind, if, um, if you have one of these external drives and it suddenly stops working, sometimes the drive itself is fine. It's actually the controller card inside has died. Because th these things are super cheap. I mean, they're really cheaply made and uh, have a tendency to just die spontaneously. So if you have an external hard drive that has cracked out on you, See if you can crack it open and actually put it into a, either a working enclosure, like just buy another enclosure for it, and see if you can get a read off it, or get like a, you can get a dock where you can just literally take one of these and just plug it right in. Um, we use them at work all the time. So there you go. So now, so this one is a, uh, uh, looks like a caviar green. Yeah, it's caviar green. So this one is 5400 RPM. It's the same as the other three terabyte that I just put in there. Just gonna set these aside here, uh, yeah, and let's let's put them in. Let's make them beautiful. Okay, so these uh, hard drives will be running better than ever before, Ugh. and that's really all there is to it as far as turning a, an ex an external into an internal. Is you literally just. Uh, rip open the case <laughs> yeah you just rip it open and pop it in there <laughs>